Hello everyone, welcome to Saucy Creations Art. Today I'm gonna to be doing an acrylic painting tutorial with a technique called the swipe. I'm just gonna swipe with a damp paper towel. I have all of my colors right here ready to go. I mix them with mixed pouring medium, roughly about one to seven for the part uh, of paint to pouring medium ratio. I am gonna use spot on treadmill silicone lubricant silicone in just two colors, the yellow and the orange. I am using vermilion, cadmium orange hue, cadmium yellow light hue, phthalo blue, Payne's gray, and mag magnanese blue th phthalo. I don't know if I pronounced that right. A couple things, I already have my canvas taped off, pinned up. I did paint my sides because I have a gallery wrap today and I wanted to make sure that all the paint did stick to the sides and I had no gaps so it wasn't hard for me to mess with it once I'm done pouring. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a swipe and I want it to look like lava and I'm going to, most of this is going to be just various blues and then I'm going to put red, orange, and yellow and swipe down with the damp paper towel. So let me get going with that. I got a picture of, you know, the inspiration for this online and I couldn't get it out of my brain. So I just, I had to get it out and it ended up turning out to be pretty cool. I'm hoping that this painting turns out to be just as cool. Now I am going to go a little thick with the puddles just because I do have some deeper edges. So I wanna make sure there's enough paint to go down when I tilt it. Because a lot of times with swipes, a lot of people don't really tilt it that much, but in order to get the lacing to go, to spread out, I do tilt it. It's one of my favorite techniques. There's so many different ways you can do a swipe. You could do it with a palette knife, paper towel, piece of cardboard, so many different things you can do. But this one's just gonna be one large swipe and that's how you get the one, the, the uniform look. All right, this is the phthalo blue. I'm gonna come in with some Payne's Gray. Now these colors are gonna dry a little bit darker so that's that's what I wanted because the reason for the blue is I, I wanted it to look like lava that had already dried and then the lava flowing through it been on a huge lava kick recently made a couple different kinds um, I got an inspiration like I said online for the one um, his name is Bruce Omori and I actually contacted him on Instagram and he was super cool about it so that was awesome I would definitely check him out on Instagram if you have an account okay I'm just gonna put this lighter blue on top of these puddles gives us some contrast instead of just one color blue. They will mix together once I do my swipe. If you want to check out my other pieces that I did that were lava inspired, you can check out my Instagram. I will link it in the description as well as all my colors and what I'm using, pouring medium, silicone, all that. Okay, I think I need a little bit of this on the bottom. Do some of this. I want to make sure I have enough paint to cover all of my edges. So this is kind of a lot of paint so I'm going to try to make this even here, tilt it a little bit just so I have even coverage. 
did paint my edges, so not too worried about that. It's more so to make sure that all the paint sticks to the edges, because sometimes when you use silicone, it uh, tends to not not want to adhere to the edges. And if you paint down this, you know, small layer, it has a better chance of sticking. get this moved around a little bit on the canvas. When I'm done, I'll touch up the edges. My goal is to have, when I swipe and I tilt, that some of the lacing will go over the edges as well. Let's take this down. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the red first. I'm gonna go off the edge and then on. Fingers crossed this works again. I did a couple canvases the other night and got it to work. So I'm hoping that it'll work for my video. You know, I want this to be a little thinner, so it feels a little bit thick. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water in. I'm not worried about bubbles right now. I just need it to be a little thinner. That way it glides ac across all the other colors a little better. Okay, that should be fine. I'm going to lay this on thick so I have enough. And it covers my edges. Okay, that should be fine. All right, I already have my paper towel damp. You just need it slightly damp. And when you flip it over, you want to make sure it touches all of the paint. There's no gaps before you swipe. It's important because, you know, you just want to have one long uniform swipe so you don't have to go back over any spots. I just cut it down to the size of the canvas that I need. So it's about two and a half little sections here. So I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna make sure it touches all the paint and as soon as it does, you don't wanna leave it there, you wanna swipe right away. Just glide across the top and don't press too hard. Here we go. Look at that. Crazy cells are ready. Woo! Wow. Okay, it worked again. I'm going to take some of this paint that dripped off, touch some of my sides, make sure there's enough coverage before I tilt. I'm going to try not to waste too much paint, but I like to have a little more so I have enough to work with. It'll be worth it. Oh my gosh, look at those cells, guys. That is crazy. So much fun. Okay, I'm gonna need a little for my cup right here. Let's do this color. Take some of this. I'm not really worried about this top. I know I put enough over there. Oh my gosh, okay. Move these cups out of the way so I can tilt really quick get some of this to open up. Let me wipe my hands off a little. Okay, here we go. Now, because I want the lava to flow down, I'm going to tilt this way first. Because I don't need that much blue. I'd rather have more of the warm colors. Okay, now I'm gonna tilt this way so I can cover that edge. down a little bit, go this way, I'm going to try to tilt it so you guys can see it. See how all those cells are opening up? 
Now I'm going really slow because I don't want to lose too much of my composition and have everything get a little wonky on me. So take it slow. Bring it back to the middle. Super cool, guys. I love this. They're complementary colors, the orange and the blue, so. That's what really makes it pop. I don't really like this corner up here in the left, so I'm going to get out a straw try to get that to move a little more, have more movement so it's not just straight. But that's it. I mean, I use mixed pouring medium with regular acrylic paints. And then <laughs> this stuff is so strong, you really only need one or two drops. I only did it in two colors, so the two drops in the yellow and one drop in the orange. Let me get my straw get this to go a little more. This is how I did my lava swipe. I hope you learned from it. There's so many different color combos you can do with this. There's really no wrong way to do it. You get a lot of cool colors when they mix and the lacing is just to die for. If you guys liked this, like, subscribe, comment for more. I'm going to put out some new ones. Uh, my next video, I'm going to be working with Floetrol, regular American Floetrol with a white cap. Um, some people have been having some issues getting it to work properly, so... I haven't decided what technique I'm going to do. I think a, pun a funnel pour. If you have any requests for me to work with the flow trawl and just acrylic paint, let me know in the comment section. And I'll get that done for you. I hope you enjoy this. Have a good one.